Hey everybody, I'm Mary, and this is my simple cottage life. Hey everybody, I just got back from getting my hair cut and I just wanted to share that with y'all. Just a little tip, I'm sure you already know it, but just to refresh your memory. The first time I went and got my hair cut from semi-long to very, very short, I went to a salon and she washed my hair, which I had just washed my hair because I would never go to a beauty shop or or any place like that to deal with my hair that I don't wash it first. I just think that's the thing to do. My husband was a barber for 50 years and he's told me stories many a time about the people that go to the barber shop with really, really dirty hair and you, you think about things like that. That's kind of bad to do to somebody else, you know. But anyway, she washed my hair. She cut it. It wasn't short enough. She cut it a little more. When she got through with that, she used a blow dryer on it. Now, my hair was super short, so I really didn't need a blow dryer. To tell you the truth, by the time I got out to the car, my hair, hair would have been dry anyway. So I got to thinking about that. You know, the price was $35. Well, by the time you add in a tip, you're $45 or even more. So the next time I needed to get my hair cut, I went to my husband's barber shop where he used to work. They have a female barber there and she's perfectly capable of cutting men and women's hair. So Miss Miss Key. And she's good. She's very good at everything she does. So she cut my hair and it was exactly as I wanted it to be. I want it very, very short. She knew exactly what to do. I said, give me a bobby cut. That's the name of my husband, Bobby. She knew because she'd cut his hair for years. And when she was done, she didn't wash my hair. She didn't blow dry my hair. She didn't need to. My hair was already clean. Like I said, by the time I get to the car, pretty much gonna be dry anyway, because it was so short. But the charge was $14. Plus I gave her a tip. A, ni a nice tip. It wasn't cheap, cheap tip. So that's, that's a thought that I have been going to her ever since. $14 versus $45. Or, well, actually, no, $14 versus the $35 and then tip to each one. But for her to cut my hair, no way, it came to $45 or even $50. It just didn't. So if you're thinking of getting your hair cut really short, find a barber that has a, a barber shop that has a female barber there. She'll know how to cut your hair. She'll know exactly what to do. You don't need a man to be cutting your hair. A woman barber is perfectly capable, even more so, in cutting a woman's hair because she knows what you want to look like. She just does. It's just an instinct with them. But the barbershop versus the salon, when you're getting a really, really short cut, I'd go with the barbershop every time. Just call them up and ask them if they have a female barber and if they cut women's hair. Make an appointment. You won't regret it. It's going to save you some money. Right? Have a great day. See you soon.